What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya says that Garcia, Ryan Garcia, made $30 million for the tank fight, and he opens up about the estranged, estranged <laughs> relationship with Ryan. Ever since Ryan lost to Javante Tank Davis on April 22nd, Garcia and promoter Oscar De La Hoya have been embroiled in a beef that has spilled into both social media and more seriously, legal filings last month. The strained relationship seemingly surfaced minutes after Garcia was knocked out by, body, by a body shot when De La Hoya skipped on attending the post-fight press conference. The Hall of Fame fighter claimed that he was receiving death threats. Garcia went on to say that Tank's team cared about him more than his own. On Wednesday, De La Hoya opened up about the alienated relationship he has with the star prize fighter he promotes. And this is what he said. He said, we have a lawsuit right now. I'm not suing him for money. He's not suing me for money. I just want him to honor my contract. That's it, De La Hoya said in an interview with um, Ariel uh, Helwani. Okay. He said, just honor the contract. That's it. You have obligations. I want Garcia to fight. I want Garcia to be a legend. Do you think I wanted him to fight Tank Davis with a rehydration clause? Hell no. I'm looking out for him, but he has people whispering in his ear. Oh, Oscar is bad. Oh, go with this other promoter who will take you on, take care of you more. You'll make more money. Well, guess what? Ryan made $30 million plus million for the Davis fight. I'm not doing anything wrong here. I'm trying to create a legend. What better person to me, what better person than me to guide Garcia's career to mold him into, his, into this superstar boxer who people will respect? But all's, all these whispers, man, all these whispers. Um, he said, well, look, people have kept me away from him, said De La Hoya. Uh, he said, "Can you can't call him up. Do you think it could get fixed if you guys had a face-to-face? -face? De La Hoya answered, I don't know. I don't think so. Then let me counterpunch. Um, I think, first of all, let's just be honest. Okay, I think honesty is the best policy between Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia. Now, this isn't the first time that they've been into it. You know, Garcia a couple of years ago was like, hey, release me from my contract now. You know, talking shit like that because he was still under contract based on the fights that he wanted that he wasn't getting, supposedly. Remember, this was before the mental health breakdown, mental issue deal, okay? And um, I, guess they, I guess they worked it out. And to me, at that time, they really argued like, you know, like like either a big brother to a little brother or a, a son to a father. They, they, you know, De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia, to me, they argued like family, you know, like family argues and then he woof and they make up and you know what I mean? That's how it reminded me, you know, and I was like, OK, that's his kid. <laughs> But no, seriously, seriously. Now, more recently this year, you know, um, Garcia wasn't knocked out by a body shot. Garcia just didn't get up. You know what I mean? And I think, because we got to be honest, I think that because Ryan Garcia didn't get up and didn't show heart, he didn't show desire, he didn't show he wanted to win or go on in that fight. And, he, you know, he didn't show us that. He showed us that he could quit and he showed us how easy it is for him to go down and stay down until that bell or till that count was over and then he got up because he no longer wanted to compete. I think that pissed De La Hoya off along with Bernard Hopkins because they looked at each other. This motherfucker don't have it. Screw him. And they left. They told the, uh, I forget his name, um, the president of Golden Boy or the vice president or whatever. They told him to be there. And he was there, but they were not because I think they were angry. They were upset. Most importantly, they were disappointed in Ryan Garcia. And because of that, they didn't show up. But then when hearing the backlash of why they didn't show up, they had to do damage control quick. Oh, shit. People are pissed. 
We got the Al Hamanites coming at our ass. We got all types of fight hype, fight hub. You know what I mean? These guys are now asking me uh, why was this happening. We got Ryan popping off shit saying that, hey, these guys were, you know, loved me better than my own team. He's saying he felt, you know, uh, um, abandoned, right? So yeah, they had to come up with that quick. And I think that is what led to this moment right now. So can they talk? I don't think so. But I will tell you this. I will agree with Oscar De La Hoya. He has tried, attempted to guide Ryan Garcia in the right direction. He's tried. And what has happened is he hasn't. You know, this, that rehydration bullshit, A-side, chicken shit stuff that they do over there, with that that's... That's them. They will always be assholes. As long as Floyd is a part of anything, it will he it will just be that way. Cause they think, oh, it's better to do stupid shit like that, you know, and 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 make fighters submit to concessions that they really don't want and you know like stuff like that. They do that type of stuff. So that's what you're going to expect. It's a bitch move. I agree. But uh Oscar De La Hoya, you know, wouldn't have allowed it. However, would we still be waiting for a fight? not to happen because of it? That's the question you ask yourself. Was it something that Ryan Garcia had to do in order to get the fight? You don't know. We will never know because he took it. He agreed upon it. So we don't know what they wouldn't have done. However, I'm going to say this again, okay? Because this is a nagging issue I have with Ryan Garcia right now, okay? Even though I just did a video about Ryan Garcia. I am disappointed also in Ryan Garcia because despite doing what you are, do, are going against your promoter's wishes of, uh, of the rehydration clause, you knew there was no way you got hit like that and stayed down like that knowing everything that you submitted to. Counterpunch. You should have submitted and you should have gave your best and I don't think he did. You know what I mean? There's more than just skill. There's will, there's heart. There's desire, there's passion, you know what I mean? Those is what makes a, a gifted fighter, a special fighter, okay? And did all that submitting to these concessions and stayed down like a bitch. That's what Ryan did. And it was like, okay, well, what'd you even do that for if you were just going to go down and stay down? You know what I mean? Boom, you got knocked down the second round and in the sixth round, you're like, you know what? Fuck this. That's what happened. You know, so you can't blame Oscar for that anyway. That's all you. You lost because of that. But that $30 million, yes, that's good enough for anyone. Okay? So, yes, Oscar De La Hoya tried to do what's best. I think he tried to be or tried to guide him like he would, like he did Canelo and try to keep him away from fights. And if so, he tried to put him in the best situations in the fight that they made with another fighter. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of the back and forth with De La Hoya and revealing that Garcia made $30 million to fight Tank Davis. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!